All right, so welcome to my breakdown of this GRE question. It's one of the more difficult GRE questions out there, uh, which is why I'm spending time to break this question down. And it's also rooted in a particular topic on remainders, which a lot of people have trouble with. So just jump, let's jump right into it. So the question tells us that 10 to the 32 plus two is divided by 11. And the question is asking us that, hey, the remainder that this guy gets, this division gets, is going to be your R. They want us to compare that to three. All right, so let's jump right into this question. Now, trying to solve this question in by itself, um, you already find, find yourself in some trouble here because 10 to the 32 is a really large number. And trying to divide that by 11 um, is not something you can easily do on a test like the GRE. So what I suggest you do there is to break this question down. So, so say it's 1032 over 11 plus 2 over 11. So what is this doing? This pretty much pretty much says that, hey, and this is a technique I use a lot. If you have 11, a number at the bottom here, just break it under each of the numbers up top and have it divided under each one, especially when there's a plus or minus. doesn't work if it's a times or multiplication, but if a plus or minus, you could split the denominator under each term like I, like I just did. So now we come to these two parts. We have this 10 to 32 and uh, 11 to the 2 to deal with. Let's deal with the 2 over 11 first. Just going to show you a quick technique here that is going to pretty much blow your mind. So check this out. If I had, say, uh, 4 over 7, 5 over 7, 6 over 7, 7 over 7, what a lot of people don't know in this division is notice that 7 cannot go into 4. It's bigger than 4. So the 4 up top is smaller. Anytime the top number is smaller in a division and you're trying to find the remainder, the remainder, guys, is just the top number. It just returns everything at the top number. That's your remainder, okay, for a number that's smaller up top. And obviously, in this case, since the numbers are the same, the remainder here is zero. A lot of people don't know that e as well. They will say, oh, well, it goes one time, but I don't know what the remainder is. Well, there is no remainder, so it's zero. So that's something to keep in mind. Well, based on that, I can look at 2 over 11 then and just see what well, the remainder there is just 2. I'm done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Do not think about it any more than that. So that's that. So let's take care of this guy over here, the 10 to the 32 over 11. Let's take care of that on the side here. So 10 to the 32, again, is a large number. And trying to solve a large number like that is, is, is going to be a problem. So how about we look at smaller relatives of it? So what do I mean? 10 to the 2 is 100, okay? Let's see how that behaves when I'm dividing by 11. Let's look at 10 to the 4 which is also in the family of 10 to the 32 because they're all even powers of 10. Let's see what that does as well um, with 11, okay? So what is it, how many times would, um, what would 11 do going into 100? Well, again, this question is about the remainder. A number of you would say, oh, 11 goes into 100 nine times. That is not the question. That's not my focus at all. The question is 11 can go into 100 up to, that's the keyword, up to 99. The remainder, what's left over, is 1, okay? Up to 99 to 100, the remainder is 1. If I look over here, 11 will do the same thing. 11 can go into this number, 9999. Um, and again, up to just one before this 10,000 number, again, the remainder is 1. You're going to notice the same thing is 10 to the 6, 10 to the 8, going into 11. It will go right up to the number with the remainder of 1, with the remainder of 1, when 11 goes into that number. So if you look at this this family of numbers, and I use the word family very carefully here, um, you pretty much have even powers of 10. Well, 10, 32 is an even power of 10. So guess what? By the time you do, by the time you do a 10 to 32 into 11, its remainder will also be one. So at this point, if the remainder of this is two and the remainder of this is one, you just add that up, you get a total remainder of three for your R. Remember, R is the remainder of this division. So the remainder there will be three. And if you compare it to three, the answer here, guys, will be C for the GRE. Because on the GRE, if the quantity A is greater, then the answer is A. If the quantity B is greater, the answer is B. If both quantities are the same, then the answer is C. And that's what we have here. So this is how you solve this question, understanding what happens when the number up top is smaller, it returns the top number. And just considering, instead of trying to do 10 to 32, just look at smaller families of it and you know think about how that's going to behave all the way to 1032 and that's how you solve it so the answer is c uh, for this question